Hi, I'm Will Fryce and I'm going to show you some of the things that I take with me when I go on a field trip taking pictures. I try and pack everything into a knapsack. This is a multi-pocketed knapsack I got at uh, one of the stores in town for less than twenty dollars. It has uh, three main compartments, one, two, and a third one up front here and two smaller compartments on the front plus pockets on either side. So we're going to fill this up with some stuff. Starting with a jacket. This jacket is a reversible jacket. It's windproof and waterproof but lightweight. And we'll probably upgrade that and, put, and we're going to put it in the back compartment. I have here also a uh, a bag that folds up and this bag uh, can be useful for hauling additional things to the set. Some sunscreen, an umbrella and we have these in here and hopefully we never have to use them. A uh, chocolate bar, we've only got one this time but you could have two or three in here in case you get uh, caught short. And another important thing, the uh, hat which is used on set to keep the sun out of your eyes and keep you from getting sun sunstroke. So that's basically the the backpack which is now pretty well full and it it is giving you uh, sort of the, the basis of this knapsack and uh, that's where you would put stuff that you don't use all the time. In the middle pocket we put our cameras and associated equipment. I have a Ziploc bag here with some accessory equipment including headsets, a light, uh, lens cleaning, cleaning tools, um, tie wraps for cables and a screwdriver, uh, a uh, script hole pen and so forth. Uh, all these things like another adapter for the tripod and so forth. This can go in the middle pocket but down at the bottom. And we'll put that in the bottom because everything else will sort of go on top of that. So we've got that in there. This is a heavy big item. It's a telephoto lens to fit on my DSLR camera, which I can't really show you right now because it's uh, taking this picture. I have a, an Olympus camera here, which is a, a sort of a, a backup camera for taking stills and taking photographs uh, uh, and videos both on land underwater it's dust proof and uh, waterproof and so forth and there's even a, a special handle here that also floats and is waterproof so that uh, in the water your camera won't sink to the bottom it gives you a problem of, of trying to retrieve it and then we have a uh, package of plastic bags which are used for protection. This is a Gorilla tripod device that goes in here as well and it's used in places where you need a small tripod. This is a clamp-on tripod and that can be clamped to a car window or anything else that where you need to have anything. And also another interesting feature, this particular one made by Vivitar has uh, stand legs as well. So then there's a little button here that you use to drop them back in, and away you go. Okay, so that's essentially the, the middle compartment, and to which we would add our DSLR camera and any other photographic stuff that uh, we'd use. Now we'll go to the, the front compartment, and the front compartment has a place for pens and pencils, little slide-in things here. And we can just put these in here so that we have relatively easy access to them. We have two of these. These are actually um, devices for taking can lids off bottles and jars and so forth. And uh, I have two of them. We, they're adjustable, just with a little slide like that. And you can put these over your, your lens, your zoom lens, and over your focus ring and gives you access to focus those devices by that. They're very inexpensive at a kitchen supply store. 
We also have a little Ziploc bag with some of the manuals in here. That's very important because you can get in a position where you need to refer to the manual and if you haven't got your manual you get nothing to refer to. A notebook for noting what's going on at, at your shoot so that you have a chance to uh, note these different things as you go along. And uh, we also have uh, some additional items including, including a Ziploc bag full of cables, chargers and so forth. And we may uh, end up having to put some of this stuff, uh, particularly things like cables, maybe even with the cameras, because it is a little bulky, so we'll stick that in here for now. We may not always bring all this stuff with us, but we will bring some of the chargers. This is a universal charger. It'll charge almost any size battery, including AAs and AAAs, and the batteries on the, on the camera has got adjustable points and everything else. So. This will pretty well charge anything in here, and it can be powered by AC by using just bringing up those little things that stick into the wall, and it can be also powered by USB, and it can be also powered by a 12 volt cigarette lighter. So this is a really a truly universal charger. So we'll put this in here as well. This is one of the most valuable pieces of equipment. Plus we have the individual chargers. This is a charger for the Canon battery which also can be charged by that universal charger. This is the charger for the Olympus camera battery. This is the charger for the night light, for the light to, uh, on my camera. So those are all can be put into this, into this pocket so that we can access them when we need them. And uh, so we'll have them all. So you see that third pocket is very useful as well. Now our pack is getting pretty full now, so we basically will shut some of these things up and uh, you know make it tight and easy to get along with. There we go. So now, uh, getting close to the end here, we have an upper and lower pocket, and I work it so that the upper pocket is for the items that you need access to quickly and immediately. And as the pack may be on your back. You can just tell somebody, get my spare battery out of the upper pocket or get me another SD card out of the upper pocket. So here we have those items that are used in the upper pocket. I have a couple of lens cleaning and general cleaning uh, rigs. We have a mohair and a, and a microfiber. We have a flashlight, which is extremely useful. I've been trying to find different things. We have a little pack here. This contains my spare SD cards, and uh, and this is the spare battery for the uh, Canon camera. We'll put that in here too. Any other spare batteries you can put in the same spot as well. And in the final, I'm gonna get these around here because they're a little hard to get to. These are. Uh, add-ons to water. You just put these in water and they give you a, um, in this case, a, a, a grapefruit flavor and orange and lime, lemon lime. They make water a little more interesting, so we just toss those in there. We have some sweeteners uh, for coffee and that. A roll of some money, because uh, you may need some money to get out of trouble or something. Business cards, or just a few of those. We can have a Swiss Army knife and or a Leatherman tool. Actually, a Leatherman tool is better, but uh, I just didn't have one handy. And a most important pack, a pack of medicines, aspirins and Tylenols and uh, ibuprofen, uh, Maalox or other things for your whatever might ail you while you're out there. So that is pretty well everything that goes into this package here. But we do have a couple of things that we will add. Uh, Try and get this so it doesn't block my view. I have uh, a water bottle and uh, a binoculars, a pair of binoculars. Well, the binoculars can go right in this position here, and the water bottle will go on the other side, right here. So it's ready to go. And therefore, we've got most of the things we need. I'm just going to show you a couple other things I'm working on. This is uh, the start of a um, sun shield 
that will go on the back of the DSLR camera. And basically I'm going to cut this around here so it can go right on the viewfinder and we'll have a, a, a lens here so that we can magnify the, the LCD screen and very easily see what's going on. And this is held on with a few uh, rubber bands and so forth. And it'll all be painted black. So that's what we're working on now. So we have uh, a few other things that we could add to this. We've suggested either an iPad or a playbook. This ca uh, bag also has a, a slot at the very back here for, for a laptop or an iPad. A cell phone is very useful. Uh, some trail mix, sunglasses, preferably a Polaroid, are very useful as well. And last but not least, a remote control device to start and stop your camera. Thank you very much for watching.